Titanium hydride normally refers to the inorganic compound titanium 2 hydride and related non-stoichiometric materials. It is commercially available as a stable gray, black powder, which is used as an additive in the production of alnico sintered magnets, in the sintering of powdered metals, the production of metal foam, the production of powdered titanium metal and in pyrotechnics. Production and reactions of TiH2X In the commercial process for producing non-stoichiometric TiH2X, titanium metal sponge is treated with hydrogen gas at atmospheric pressure at between 300 to 500 degrees Celsius. Absorption of hydrogen is exothermic and rapid, changing the color of the sponge gray-black. The brittle product is ground to a powder, which has a composition around titanium 1 hydride.95. In the laboratory, titanium hydride is produced by heating titanium powder under flowing hydrogen at 700 degrees Celsius, the idealized equation being T plus H2 titanium 2 hydride. Other methods of producing titanium hydride include electrochemical and ball milling methods. Reactions Titanium 1 hydride.95 is unaffected by water and air. It is slowly attacked by strong acids and is degraded by hydrofluoric and hot sulfuric acids. It reacts rapidly with oxidizing agents, this reactivity leading to the use of titanium hydride in pyrotechnics. The material has been used to produce highly pure hydrogen, which is released upon heating the solid starting at 300 degrees Celsius. Only at the melting point of titanium is dissociation complete. Titanium tritide has been proposed for the long-term storage of tritium gas. Structure As TiHx approaches stoichiometry, it adopts a distorted body-centered tetragonal structure, termed the epsilon form with an axial ratio of less than 1. This composition is very unstable with respect to partial thermal decomposition, unless maintained under a pure hydrogen atmosphere. Otherwise, the composition rapidly decomposes at room temperature until an approximate composition of titanium 1 hydride.74 is reached. This composition adopts the fluorite structure, and is termed the delta form, and only very slowly thermally decomposing at room temperature until an approximate composition of titanium 1 hydride.47 is reached, at which point, inclusions of the hexagonal close packed alpha form, which is the same form as pure titanium, begin to appear. The evolution of the dihydride from titanium metal and hydrogen has been examined in some detail. Alpha titanium has an hexagonal close-packed HCP structure at room temperature. Hydrogen initially occupies tetrahedral interstitial sites in the titanium. As the HT ratio approaches 2, the material adopts the beta form to a phase-centered cubic FCC delta form, the H atoms eventually filling all the tetrahedral sites to give the limiting stoichiometry of titanium-2 hydride. The various phases are described in the table below. If titanium hydride contains 4.0% hydrogen at less than around 40 degrees Celsius then it transforms into a body-centered tetragonal BCT structure called epsilon titanium. When titanium hydrides with less than 1.3% hydrogen, known as hypoeutectoid titanium hydride are cooled, the beta-titanium phase of the mixture attempts to revert to the alpha-titanium phase, resulting in an excess of hydrogen. One way for hydrogen to leave the beta titanium phase is for the titanium to partially transform into delta titanium, leaving behind titanium that is low enough in hydrogen to take the form of alpha titanium, resulting in an alpha titanium matrix with delta titanium inclusions. A metastable gamma titanium hydride phase has been reported. When alpha titanium hydride with a hydrogen content of 0.02 to 0.06% is quenched rapidly, it forms into gamma titanium hydride, as the atoms freeze in place when the cell structure changes from HCP to FCC. Gamma titanium takes a body centered tetragonal BCT structure. Moreover, there is no compositional change, so the atoms generally retain their same neighbors. Hydrogen embrittlement titanium and titanium alloys The absorption of hydrogen and the formation of titanium hydride are a source of damage to titanium and titanium alloys, TT alloys. 
This hydrogen embrittlement process is of particular concern when titanium and alloys are used as structural materials, as in nuclear reactors. Hydrogen embrittlement manifests as a reduction in ductility and eventually spalling of titanium surfaces. The effect of hydrogen is to a large extent determined by the composition, metallurgical history and handling of the TT alloy. CP titanium commercially pure, 99.55% T content, is more susceptible to hydrogen attack than pure alpha titanium. Embrittlement, observed as a reduction in ductility and caused by the formation of a solid solution of hydrogen, can occur in CP titanium at concentrations as low as 30 to 40 ppm. Hydride formation has been linked to the presence of iron in the surface of a T alloy. Hydride particles are observed in specimens of TT alloys that have been welded, and because of this welding is often carried out under an inert gas shield to reduce the possibility of hydride formation, TT alloys form a surface oxide layer, composed of a mixture of T2, T3, and T IV oxides, which offers a degree of protection to hydrogen entering the bulk. The thickness of this can be increased by anodizing, a process which also results in a distinctive coloration of the material. TT alloys are often used in hydrogen-containing environments and in conditions where hydrogen is reduced electrolytically on the surface. Pickling, an acid bath treatment which is used to clean the surface can be a source of hydrogen. Uses Common applications include ceramics, pyrotechnics, sports equipment, as a laboratory reagent, as a blowing agent, and as a precursor to porous titanium. When heated as a mixture with other metals in powder metallurgy, titanium hydride releases hydrogen which serves to remove carbon and oxygen, producing a strong alloy. References